Ah, coronavirus! Now what video are we going to film this week? Mm. Remember all those questions. People mm. have been asking you about your channel. My YouTube channel tour. Thanks for joining me, I'm Carl. I wish I was making this video under nicer circumstances, but unfortunately I'm not due to all the problems that are going on in the world at the moment. This week's video was meant to be A Quiet Place Part 2, which is in cinemas Friday. I heard it got delayed in the States, but as far as I'm aware of making this video, it's still going ahead here in the UK and will be, be released Friday. Some cinemas are still open and showing a Quiet Place Part 2, or they will be on Friday. Uh, also, um, our Prime Minister came on the TV the other day and closed all theatres in London. He also advised us not to visit any cinemas or any restaurants and to stay safe. Um, those of you who know my channel or know me personally will know that I have twin disabled boys. Um, I can't go to the cinema just like that and watch any film it takes a lot of planning i was so looking forward to this week um because we had it all sorted and then obviously this got advised which means i can't bring you that video um as i say it was so disappointing but when you think about it safety does come first over a film um so i was trying to think of what to do and so many people have asked me questions why did you start youtube how have you got the time? What are these figures behind me? Why have you got them? That sort of thing. So I'm gonna be bringing you a video on that. Uh, next week's video will be a review of Disney Plus. That is released in the UK on Tuesday, the 24th of March. I had no intentions of buying Disney Plus, so there's a little story why I did, and it's nothing to do with coronavirus. Um, it's not all bad in the world. Um, it's a very, very strange time. Um, I went shopping the other day. I was one of the first in the supermarket and my daughter, just a little story I want to tell you. My daughter needed some eggs for school and I was one of the first in the supermarket when it opened and I could see a great big crate of eggs, uh, which is what she needed. And they weren't just a six pack, they were 12 pack. I only normally buy the six pack, but these were 12s. And it was a great big crate right up. I thought I'd just take my time, try and get some more shopping. Time I got round there, the eggs were gone. Walking around the supermarket, there were people with three to four of them eggs. So I don't know what you're gonna do with 36 eggs, but like I say, that's what these people had. It's not all bad. I went round to the loo roll section and there was a lady in front of me. She took one, I took one. But the guys behind me, they were taking three and four of them. It doesn't make sense, you know. Um, we actually got to the sanit uh, hand sanitizer aisle and this supermarket had loads. And there was a lady in front of me, an elderly lady, and she said to the person she was with, she said, I only need one. So she just took one. I took one, you know, and that's all you need really guys. And, um, you know, it's, as I say, it's not all bad because it was very strange going shopping. No one was talking to anyone. It was all very silent, uh, you know, it was very, very strange. As we all know, all the shelves are pretty much sold out. Here in the UK, you can't get any fruit or veg. You know, there's no coffee. There's no tea. There's, the shelves are just completely gone. It's happening, I think, all, most of the world. I know Canada's got the same problem. Just all I can say, guys, is just please try and be sensible. Obviously, you've got to look after yourself. You've also got to look after your families. But try to remember the vulnerable and the elderly. It, all, that's all I can say. Just try to be kind to each other. I know it's hard, but if you're going to grab four or five of everything, it's just going to follow suit right the way through. So just, just try and, you know, if everyone was kind to each other and thought about it, I hopefully, you know, we will all get through this together. Um, you know, I think we're in for a lot of strange times that many of us has never, ever experienced before. It's not all bad. As I said, my mum and dad was in the supermarket and the lady in front did offer to pay for their shopping, which was a very, very nice of that lady. 
Um, anyway, that's enough talk on coronavirus. As I said, I got asked loads of questions about my channel. So I'm just going to whiz through that about these behind me and why I started YouTube, you know, and as I say, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I was meant to go to the cinema, that's not going to happen. So I have got my Coke, as if I was in the cinema. And I've got my M&M's. Just sit back and enjoy. Hmm. Please let me know in the comments, guys, what your favourite snacks are when you go to the cinema. Mine's easy, any fizzy drink, any chocolate, and also any sour sweets. I just love them. Um, I won't have popcorn in cinema, although I will have some popcorn at home. And I disagree with hot dogs in the cinema. They're just way too smelly. So yeah, put in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys have in cinemas. That'd be brilliant. Anyway, moving on with the questions. A lot of people say to me, what on earth are you doing on YouTube? Well, that's easy. I just love talking movies. It's just, for me personally, it's just all about fun. I think, you, you know, you've got to be naive if you're going to go on YouTube and think it's all about money and you're going to become rich and stuff. It, that's not for me, you know, it's just fun for me. I would like two or three other guys here, you know, with me so we can feed off each other. But unfortunately, you know, that didn't happen. So I'm by myself and I'm quite happy with that. I love talking movies, as I said. Uh, how it started, I had no intention of doing YouTube. It's just going back, if you guys can cast your minds back to when this was released, Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought this was an absolutely brilliant film. I am a Queen fan. So, but even if you're not a Queen fan, I just thought it was really good. And I think Queen, non-Queen fans would enjoy it as well. Anyway, a couple of critics, you know, when the movie did come out, they slated it. And I thought, no, I, don't, I disagree with that. I know everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And I have no problem with that. If you didn't like it, you didn't like it. But that's what gave me the idea. I thought, I, you know, I really want to do this now because... I thought that film was good and they disagreed and said it wasn't so good. Um, I think they did backtrack later and say it's okay. So, um, like I say, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But that's what gave me the idea. How it started, well, a guy I work with, he did a, um, a video uh, just messing around in the car. We named it Family Guy Singing in the Car. And um, it's actually done really, really well. So fair play to him. And... Anyway, he did that, he just showed it around on his phone and I said, you could YouTube that. And that is how Carlin the 09 was born. And it's all down to him. Uh, moving on, how have you got the time? Is what I get asked. Well, to be honest, it's very, very difficult. It does take a lot of time up. I'm lucky I have my daughter that does the editing. Um, my wife is very patient as well. Uh, you wouldn't believe the amount of, being honest, you wouldn't believe the amount of mistakes I make. Um, but you know, it's great fun. I enjoy it. Um, what was the other question? Why are these behind you? Well, to be honest, I am a movie fan, as I said. I've got over 300 odd movies and ideally I'd like them all behind me in DVDs, you know, and Blu-rays, whatever. You know, all behind me like this. But unfortunately, if you can imagine two, three hundred DVDs, they take up so much space, um, and especially with the kids around as well. So what I've done, I've take, I've kept the cases and the sleeves, but the DVDs itself, they're in silver tins to keep it nice and small and compact. And that's why I can't display them behind me. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, you know, on say entertainment, you need something to fill the space. These were the best things. As I'll go through them in a minute you know why but they, you know it just filled the space up and that is the reason for them okay guys on to the pop vinyl figures which is what you see behind me when i'm making my videos i have been asked a lot of questions which ones do i have i know nothing about these so if i have got any rare ones please do let me know in the comments below it'd be fantastic to know if i do Possibly the top right one could be quite rare. I'm not sure, but you know, as I say, do let me know. Each one does mean a little bit to me. I'll let you know in a minute why um, I didn't just buy these. All right, let's go for it. Bottom right corner, we have a Porg. I love the Porg in Star Wars. They were so cute. Next door to the Porg, we have Finn from Star Wars. 
just going to whiz through the middle ones because they're not mine they are my editors from the avengers you can see which ones they are they are my daughters i've got to give them back to them i've had them too long we have kit uh there you can see the car from Knight Rider. Moving up we have Nightmare on Elm Street, Fred Krueger. This was my favourite movie from the 80s uh, horror wise. Um, I had to get him. Next door to him we have John McClane from Die Hard. Oh, I love Die Hard that's why I got that one. In the middle we have a T-800 and Sarah Connor from Terminator. These two are brilliant in the original Terminator. That's why I've got them. Moving on we have Jaws, the bad guy from James Bond and we also have a Roger Moore James Bond. Um, I love watching these with my dad, they bring back so much memories from the 80s, possibly late 70s but um, yeah, just such happy memories with my dad watching these two. Not sure why I got an IG-11 from Star Wars Mandalorian and also we have Yoda on the end there from Star Wars as you can see. Moving up. Brett Hitman Hart, he was my favourite wrestler from the 90s, love that guy. Moving on to Men in Black, we have Agent J and Frank, well, you know, I like Will Smith and I love Pugs, so that's the reason for that one. In the middle here, we have the guy Tony from Die Hard, he's the guy that fell from the lift and if you can see on his shirt, I'm not sure you can see that actually, it says, now I have a machine gun, hold, hold. Oh, classic, that's why I've got that one. Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Well, I love playing this game in the original PlayStation. We also have Bad Boys, Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett. These two are great together. And over here we have Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Great films. B.A. Baracus from the A-Team, that's the one I reckon might be rare, it's a lot more expensive than the others. Up here, this one's a strange one, I got this as a birthday present years and years ago. I'm not actually sure if it's a pop vinyl figure or whether it's just a bobble head, but anyway, he takes pride up there. Freddie Mercury from Queen, the legend, I had to get him. And there, I've just got an 18 van there with uh, BA there just to make use of it really. Okay, so that's all of them. I hope that's answered your questions of what's behind me. As I say, if I have got any rare ones or you haven't have got any questions, please do put in the comments below. I love reading them and getting back to you guys. The best ones in my collection, I have been asked to name them. I will be aiming to buy more, I just want to fill that whole space with them really. It does take time. Number five, I'm going to give to Brett Hitman Hart. Number four, I'm going to give to. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to give to John McLean from Die Hard. Number three goes to Freddy Krueger. Number two, I'm going to give to Mike Lowry from Bad Boys. And my all time favourite has to be the one in the top right corner, as I said, B.A. Baracus. What you doing, sucker? That is my favourite one. I hope that has answered your questions. It's finished. Wake up, it's finished. You are? Isn't that boring? Yeah, have a sweet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could please like, subscribe and share this video, it'd be fabulous if you can. It really helps to support us both. It does look like the UK is going to go under total lockdown, which is such sad news. I still think I've got to go to work, but never mind. Um, you know it has to be done and it is tough times for everyone and a lot of people are going to go through and experience things that we've never ever experienced in our lives please please try to remain calm and stay kind to everyone else that would be really really good we will try to bring you a video every single week as we've been doing so far um also next week disney plus review as i said that's going to be released on tuesday here in the uk i didn't mean to get that but i will give a first look and tell you all about it and how it goes guys stay safe until next week goodbye bye that's finished hey wake up it wasn't that boring what? hi guys thank you so much thank you so much for watching guys